Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So, I've been doing this series recently, why I like, etc., etc., and this one's on the WZ113 of the Tier 10 Chinese heavy tank. And I actually do like this tank. To be honest, and I am being honest, when this tank first came out, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. And then I had a good chat with uh, Jory, who is in, who was in Vale. He's now in HE49. Who is a really good player, and he was in the pro team. Um, and I had a chat with him, and he sort of told me how to play it. And since then, I've loved it. Thing is, it then kind of fell out of the meta for the tournaments, and not many people use it anymore. And uh, you know, I have to admit, I'm one of those players. So the other day, I was I asked my you know the clan if anybody wanted a tune, and Tustin Killer, another one of the pros, said, "Yeah, let's have a tune." And he managed to persuade me, clearly just by clicking on the tank, to dust off the WZ113 and to roll out in it. And I forgot how much fun this tank can be. Okay, it does take a little bit of getting used to. Why do I say that? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, it, it, its mobility is absolutely shocking. Not going forwards or backwards. I mean, going in a straight line, it's the best mobility ever. I mean, it's really fast for a medium. But trying to turn the damn thing, you, you know, you've got... It, it's not easy. The turret turn is also takes an age so you've got to get used to turning this thing and you've got to get used to the turret speed the gun itself the gun itself is really nice it's got a great reload pretty decent alpha damage and you know it's pretty accurate what about the armor well again the armor is a bit hit and miss the turret is rock solid you will get troll bounces on the hull but it is pretty weak for that hull now you would think, ah, oh, a weak hull, good turret, it's a good hull down tank. Well, no, because it hasn't got the best of gun depression, if any. But it is a fun tank, and I really forgot how much fun this thing can be. And, I, I mean, I rolled out in it in a few, fair few games, and I loved every minute of it. And you can get some decent damage out of this thing. The penetration on the gun is pretty, pretty nice. You can see that straight through to that 60 TP which a lot of tanks struggle to hit bottom plate. Although I do bounce the IS-7 here because, boy, they've got trolley side armor nowadays. The thing that makes this tank is its DPM and its forward momentum. I mean, like I said, stick it in a straight line, you're laughing. Try to turn the damn thing and you're crying. To be honest with you, it's not got the best turning circle. You know, for a three-point turn, delete that and put 3,600-point turn. But once, as I say, you get used to its lack of manoeuvrability rather than moveability, its manoeuvrability, once you get used to its very, very slow turret turn, it is a beautiful tank. And it's, it's a shame that not many people roll out in it anymore because it, it kind of has gone off the meta. What with the introduction of the tanks like the 60TP, etc, etc. And that's hardly surprising. I mean, it, 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 it is one of the weakest armor-wise of the heavies. And the mobility does lack, does, does let it down somewhat. But it does make up for that in its turret armor. It's very nice gun. And it's DPM. So that's why I like the WZ113. I think it's still a fantastic tank. And, you know, you may see some of the pro clans still take it out every now and then in a tournament. Not as much as they used to, but it still makes a decent showing. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. By all means, comment and everything below. I've been Fujit, and remember, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that is really what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.